In differential geometry, a pseudo-Riemannian manifold is a generalization of a Riemannian manifold in which the metric tensor need not be positive definite. Instead a weaker condition of non-degeneracy is imposed on the metric tensor. Every tangent space of a pseudo-Riemannian manifold is a pseudo-Euclidean space described by an isotropic quadratic form. A special case of great importance to general relativity is a Lorentzian manifold, in which one dimension has a sign opposite to that of the rest. This allows tangent vectors to be classified into time-like null and space-like. Spacetime can be modeled as a four-dimensional Lorentzian manifold. Introduction Manifolds in differential geometry A differentiable manifold is a space which is locally similar to a Euclidean space. In an n-dimensional Euclidean space any point can be specified by n real numbers. These are called the coordinates of the point. An n-dimensional differentiable manifold is a generalization of n-dimensional Euclidean space. In a manifold it may only be possible to define coordinates locally. This is achieved by defining coordinate patches, subsets of the manifold which can be mapped into n-dimensional Euclidean space. See manifold, differentiable manifold, coordinate patch for more details. Tangent spaces and metric tenses associated with each point in a dimensional differentiable manifold is a tangent space. This is a dimensional vector space whose elements can be thought of as equivalence classes of curves passing through the point. A metric tensor is a non-degenerate, smooth, symmetric, bilinear map which assigns a real number to pairs of tangent vectors at each tangent space of the manifold. Denoting the metric tensor by we can express this as the map is symmetric and bilinear, so if a tangent vector is at a point to the manifold then we have, for any real number, that is non-degenerate means there are no non-zero such that for all metric signatures given a metric tensor G on an n-dimensional real manifold. The quadratic form Q equals G associated with the metric tensor applied to each vector of any orthogonal basis produces on real values. By Sylvester's law of inertia, the number of each positive, negative and zero values produced in this manner are invariants of the metric tensor, independent of the choice of orthogonal basis. The signature of the metric tensor gives these numbers, shown in the same order. A non-degenerate metric tensor has R e equals 0 and the signature may be denoted, where P plus Q equals N. Definition A pseudo-Riemannian manifold is a differentiable manifold equipped with a non-degenerate, smooth, symmetric metric tensor. Such a metric is called a pseudo-Riemannian metric and its values can be positive, negative or zero. The signature of a pseudo-Riemannian metric is where both P and Q are non-negative. Lorentzian manifold A Lorentzian manifold is an important special case of a pseudo-Riemannian manifold in which the signature of the metric is C sign convention. Such metrics are called Lorentzian metrics. They are named after the physicist Hendrik Lorentz. Applications in physics after Riemannian manifolds Lorentzian manifolds form the most important subclass of pseudo-Riemannian manifolds. They are important in applications of general relativity. A principal basis of general relativity is that spacetime can be modeled as a four-dimensional Lorentzian manifold of signature or, equivalently, Unlike Riemannian manifolds with positive definite metrics, a signature of or allows tangent vectors to be classified into time-like, null or space-like, properties of pseudo-Riemannian manifolds. Just as Euclidean space can be thought of as the model Riemannian manifold, Minkowski space with the flat Minkowski metric is the model Lorentzian manifold. Likewise, the model space for a pseudo-Riemannian manifold of signature is with the metrics and basic theorems of Riemannian geometry can be generalized to the pseudo-Riemannian case. 
In particular, the fundamental theorem of Riemannian geometry is true of pseudo-Riemannian manifolds as well. This allows one to speak of the Levi-Savita connection on a pseudo-Riemannian manifold along with the associated curvature tensor. On the other hand, there are many theorems in Riemannian geometry which do not hold in the generalized case. For example, it is not true that every smooth manifold admits a pseudo-Riemannian metric of a given signature. There are certain topological obstructions. Furthermore, a sub-manifold does not always inherit the structure of a pseudo-Riemannian manifold. For example, the metric tensor becomes zero on any light-like curve. The Clifton pole torus provides an example of a pseudo-Riemannian manifold that is compact but not complete. A combination of properties that the Hopf-Renau theorem disallows from Riemannian manifolds.